So moving next, uh, we have uh, three virtual speakers. Uh, I would like to introduce our first speaker, uh, Mr. Atsushi Nozaki, uh, President and IP Information Architect, uh, ePatent Company Limited, to give a presentation on uh, patent landscape on game uh, integration with advanced technology. So, Mr. Nozaki, the floor is yours. And my company ePatent provides IP information analysis and consulting services. And I also have some classes on the patent search and analysis at the KIT Tramon Graduate School and Osaka Institute of Technology as a guest professor. In addition, um, I wrote some books related to how to collect information efficiently and uh, effectively, and the patent searching and the patent analysis. So, in addition, I am sending out uh, various information uh, through the media, such as uh, YouTube and Nod, and as uh, a social media, uh, Twitter or Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. As the main contents, uh, I'm providing uh, the techniques of patent searching and analysis and creating patent maps using the Microsoft Excel. However, I need to say sorry, and because these are only in Japanese, and if you are interested, please check them out by using a mass translations. So, and okay, I'd like to start my presentation. First of all, I'd like to introduce the JPO's Japan Patent Office's uh, Public Relations Magazine and the Tokyo, uh, which was the origin for my presentations. So since 2011, uh, the JPO has published a uh, publication relations magazine named uh, Tokyo, and which introduces the latest IP topics. And uh, here is image of the March 2020s issue. And I was uh, in this issue, I was in charge of a patent analysis article on games and the titles are new possibilities seen from the fusion of games and advanced technologies. And today's my presentation is an update of this article. So uh, let's uh, take a look at trends in the game from the patent perspective. So before looking at the status of patent applications, and I like to review the types of games and the market situation using this slide. I think and that almost people attending this seminar and the session and play games. And the games can be divided into three main categories and main types. And one is the consumer games, such as a console tire, supportable types. Next one is the PC games, and then mobile games. And there are three types, main three types. And the game market is estimated to be worth and $18 billion in 2021. So when I was uh, in elementary and uh, junior high school, I frequently used to play Nintendo's family computer at a very old type of games. And about now, I take a break from work and by playing mobile games on my smartphone. And then and the population data set of my analysis is as follows. First, I use uh, Darwin innovation provided by Cryobet Analytics as a database, and a such formula was combined between the keywords and the pattern classifications and are related to electronic games. In order to identify historical trends, and the searches are conducted starting in the 1960s. 
and the total area is desired population is approximately 100,000 patent families and the global. So, and I begin showing trends in the game patent applications, and first we are from the 1960s to the present. As you see, patent application, uh, wait, wait, sorry, and patent applications after the 2021 have not yet been fully published, therefore not included in this graph, as the end is the 2020. And as you see, and game related part applications were started to increase in the 1990s and the remainder flat uh, from the 2000s and the mid 2010s. But applications have increased dramatically since 2015. So the following graph shows this application trend by priority countries. From the 1990s to the mid 2010s, patent applications from Japan and the US led the world. But since the 2015, we can see a sharp increase in patent applications from China. As you already know, China is the world's leading country in patent and utility model applications, and it is also showing their presence in the field of games. So next, we we'll look at the trends by applicants and namely companies. This applicant's ranking is divided into three periods and before 2001, from 2002 to the 2011, and after 2012. Up to 2011, Japanese companies highlighted yellow, as well as the US companies such as Microsoft and international game technology occupy the top positions. As you may know, uh, international game technology provides uh, slot machines and other gambling devices. And uh, so my population data set uh, includes not only the normal game, but also the uh, gambling devices. And after the 2012, the number of patent applications filed by Chinese companies increased rapidly. NetEase and Tencent in the top two. And other Chinese companies, Chinese mobile internet companies, Tita Mobile, and Air Vuel device company Guate also ranked high. And also, and please pay attention on Japanese companies, uh, such as uh, Green, Holopura, and the DMA. They provide mobile games. Uh, they are also ranked high. So this change of key players shows that the main types of game is a uh, sifting from the consumer games, it's a console type or portable type, and PC game to the mobile games recently. As you know, a variety of technologies are utilized in games. So I'd like to show how much the latest technology, advanced technology are used in games. The example of the latest technology as a 3D technology or the AI of world technologies and the brain tech or something like that. So, and so, by the way, I used keywords and the pattern clarification for classifying its latest technology. The left graph shows the distribution of the numbers of pattern families on the latest technology used in games. So, in the left graph, we notice that especially main patent applications are related AR, VR, and esports. So, in order to specify the notable latest technology, let's take a look at the light graph. So, light graph is the horizontal axis is a long term increase rate and over the last 20 years. And the vertical axis is a short term increase rate. So bubble size is accumulated number of the patent families since 2002. So this graph shows that AI is positioned in the upper right side. AI is the most notable technology in a game area from the increase rate of the patent applications. So which companies are filing around game, game application using the AI technology? So this slide's left graph shows the ranking of the AI applications in the game areas. 
So Tencent is a top. And uh, Mr. Go, uh, he will be moderator after our presentation. Uh, Tencent is a top in terms of number of applications. In the second is a Sony group, Japanese companies. However, I'm slightly sad to see the Japanese companies are behind in terms of AI applications in the gaming areas. So other companies like Epic Arts, IBM, NetEase, Google, Microsoft, there is American company or Chinese companies. So this left side graph is numbers of the applications. And please look at the right side, right graphs. So in measuring the influence, in other words, effect of the patents, of course, the number of patent application is important, but uh, easy indicator is the number of patents cited or and captures influence or the effect of the patents. So in the right graph, the horizontal axis is the average number of the patents cited for each applicant. And the vertical axis is the maximum number of the most cited patent for each applicant. So we can see from the light graph, and uh, we can see, and the US company is very showing the very big, big presence, and such as a Snap, Google, Genius Sports, and IBM. So they are very established, big presence. So, of course, the Number of application is a very, very important, and but and the number of application and the means the degree of the resource input at the business layer. It is a uh, corporate resources, but it is also important to analyze the number of patent citations in order to understand the competitiveness at the IP layer. So. Okay, so here's a summary of my presentation. So, um, as all of you attending this session are already aware of the usefulness of the patent information, and patent information is an extremely important source for understanding corporate research and development strategies and technological trends. And looking at the game through the patent information, and we found that uh, a variety of types of technology are used and including uh, uh, the latest technologies and especially among the latest technologies in particular ai artificial intelligence technology is attracting a lot of attention and i also show that and when analyze patents it is not only the number of publications but also the number of citation is a very, very useful data to determine the competitiveness at the IP layer. Thank you for listening.